everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you have been following my channel, you know that in the past I did quite a few videos on how to calculate and model the LCOE. And in the last video, I advocated that you should stop using the LCOE, as it loses the value of assessing different projects and different technologies as the energy markets get more complex and dynamic, particularly with regards to having hourly price where the value of electricity matters much more than the cost of electricity. And in that video, I also stated that instead of using the LCOE, you could consider using the levelized PPA, or levelized revenue of electricity. And in today's video, we're going to see how to calculate it. Let's going to get started. Uh, the model we're going to use today is the model that I produced for the video, how to produce an LCOE model in five minutes. So if you want to download it, Go back to that video by clicking the link above and download the file in there. So what do we have in the model? We have the inputs, a PV capacity of 30 megawatts, PV capex of $1,000 per kilowatt, PV opex of $8 per kilowatt year, the grid fees for $300,000, land lease cost for $20,000 per year, and the discount rate for 4.5%. Then in the next section of the model, I just calculate the LCOE. Pretty straightforward. We have the periods, we have the generation, the capex, all the OPEX costs, and then I calculate the total OPEX in here, as you can see for the formula in here, right? And as we need the NPV, I calculate all the NPVs on column edge. That's it. And once we have all the NPVs, we can calculate the LCOE which is the sum of the NPV of capex and opex divided by the NPV of the generation. And that's exactly what we have here in the formula. And we get the LCOE of $57.06 per megawatt hour. That's it. So what do we need now to calculate the LROE? That's pretty straightforward. So instead of using the cost, the NPV of the cost, what we're going to use is the NPV of the revenues. So what do we need to do to calculate the LROE then? We need then the electricity price, as we have in here. So we have here a projection of the electricity price for the next 20, 25 years. That's what we have in here. And once we have that, you're going to essentially multiply generation by the electricity price, get the total revenue, NPV the revenue, and then calculate the LROE, which is the NPV of the revenues divided by the NPV of the generation. And we get to this number here of $61.97 per megawatt hour. Okay, that's good enough. So let's gonna dive deep and really understand like the concept, okay? So the first thing you need to be aware of is that you need for the electricity price and the generation to be as granular as the price of electricity in your market. What do I mean by this? Let's say you operate in the market in Europe where energy price change every hour. So what we're going to need to have, we're going to need to have a generation and the electricity price for every single hour and calculate the energy price for a given year based on the weighted average. Okay, so that's the problem with the revenue of electricity. You need to have hourly generation profiles, which has uncertainty on how you calculate it. And also you need to have hourly price profile which is even more uncertain how to, to get this. Then we're gonna get to the LROE. We're gonna have a pretty uncertain number in here. So this is the first thing with LROE, right? So it's very uncertain number when you compare it against the cost, because at least on the cost, pretty sure of, you have great certainty of, on, of your cost. That's the big disadvantage of the LROE. You have a big uncertainty on the revenue price when you compare it against the LCOE, but you're much more certain on your cost side. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing to consider on the LROE is that we can be assessing or comparing the LROE of two projects with different cost structure. And that might be something we need also to consider in your assessment, right? So you should not rely completely on the LROE without looking at the cost side. So that's the two things. First, uncertainty on the revenue and on the generation. And second, you're not showing the structure of your cost. For instance, you might be comparing a hydropower plant against a nuclear power plant, which have two different cost structure, 
and you may take different decisions when you assess one against the other. These are extreme examples, but you should be aware of this, right? So these are the two points for the LROE. Then what to do with this number, right? So in this particular case here, we have an LROE of six to one or almost $62 against an LCOE of $57. So, and how do you assess or how do you compare the LROE with the LCOE? So here we have the LROE of $62 approximately against an LCOE of $57. Whenever you have an LROE that is equal or greater than the LCOE, it means that your revenue is gonna be greater than your cost and your project should bring more revenues than cost to you. The only thing to keep in mind though, is that you need to consider all the costs for your project. In this example here, for instance, you're not considering financing costs or taxes. So just keep in mind this. So again, even if the number is equals to, okay, I'm gonna make this LROR to be equal by change this uh, multiplier in here. So let me do a go seek function in here. Okay, so even in this case here where the LROE is equal to the LCOE, you're still good to go, still have a good project because what you're saying here is that your revenues is bringing at least 4.5% RR, which is the discount rate you used here and in principle should be the minimum rate for you to accept a project. So even the case where the LROE is equal to the LCOE, you have a good project. But again, this conclusion holds true as long as you are accounting for every single cost in your project. Otherwise, you cannot affirm that you're getting 4.5% RR in your project. So let's say now you have several projects with different LROEs. Which ones should you pick? In principle, you should pick the one that has the highest LROE because the highest revenue is going to bring you the highest RR. So that's the opposite from the LCOE where you choose the lowest one. So that's it basically. That's it for the LROE. Just keep in mind that the LROE has a bigger uncertainty when compared to the LCOE, that on the LROE you're not looking at the costs, and that the highest LROE you have, the better the project is. That's it for today, folks. I hope you have enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up if you learned anything from today's video. See you soon.